Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MGBA, which is a Game Boy Advance emulator, which allows you to play Game Boy Advance games. You can actually play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on here as well. So feel free to use this as like a multi, you know, all in one emulator. So to do this, it's really simple. This is for Windows. I just want to say this video is not condoning piracy. And I'll have separate setup videos for the different, for, for controllers and for mac and linux so let's go ahead go ahead and download this if we you know go to google and just search for mgba i'll also provide a link to this you just go to here go to downloads and you can download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version and plus the mac and linux if you need to know what you know version you're on just go to your computer and Go to system properties. If it says 64 bit, that means you can download either. If it says 32 bit, then you have to download one of the first two. I recommend the installer, that's the easiest way. So if I click that, we'll start downloading. In the meantime, I'll show you the compatibility list. Again, something else I will provide a link to. Just go on here and just you know just have a look at the compatibility the game i'll be using is crash bandicoot and i think anyone that's been following me for a while now will probably know that i love crash bandicoot overall you know it's got issues but overall you know it works you know you ideally want it green but depending on what the issue is you may be able to live with it okay so now let's you now open this up so this is in download chrome and I had already downloaded it before, but I'll download it again. Okay, and next, I accept, next. And you can associate, you know, MGBA with particular file extensions for Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Super Game Boy, and Super Game Boy Advance. What that means is if you have a ROM, you can double click it and you're open directly in MGBA, which is pretty cool. You can create a desktop shortcut as well, but I won't do that. Click next. And it's, you know, pick the destination as this for me. It's for the simple reason I've already got it installed and it's just gonna override it. Otherwise you'll be able to pick the directory and choose where you want it. Okay, now let's launch up MGBA. So now in here, there's a few different settings that we can you know, have a look. Can add a folder to library so any new games that get added will just you know appear here if you have a games folder you can boot a bios if you have a bios file we won't be doing that it's not required and you can even convert save games as well and import game shark and in the emulation side you can fast forward speed you can sync to video as well and audio and in here you can change the frame size which will basically change the size of this window I'll leave it at this. And you can mute as well and put an FPS target. The thing that we're gonna really be interested in is settings. So if we go to settings, again, in audio interface, we can just leave as is, doesn't really need to be changed. Interface again can be left. Emulation, uh, you can, for the most part, leave this as well. Enhancements. So I recommend you know, experimenting with high resolution scale and just you know first do you one make sure it works okay then increase it to the point where you know it's probably no longer running anymore and go back to the one that you know worked stable and that's the one you want to go with and for video renderer i recommend opengl that'll be rendering on your graphics card instead of software which is on your cpu and for bios you can specify bios file for game boy advance super game boy game boy color and game boy bio file it just means, you know, it'll show the BIOS intro if you have one. And for paths, if you don't specify a path for save game, save state, screenshot, patches and cheats, anything related to a particular game like save games will be stored where the ROM is. So it's not a bad idea to like click browse and, you know, browse to a certain folder, say within MGBA, called save, uh, save games or save states, screenshots, patches, cheats. Show me that, I mean, it's up to you if you wanna do it, but it's not a bad idea. And, and do, do, do. again, this you can leave as is. 
But now in terms of mapping, go to keyboard, to map a control. Let's see if you want to map, I don't know, J to this. You just press it, press J, and that's successful. It will go to the next one in there to map. You don't have to do it. You can just like click apply, for example. I'll switch this back to A though, to be fair. That was not a bad one. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that overall. And if I go back to settings and you can map a game controller as well. I'll cover separate videos on how to do Xbox game controller, PlayStation 4 game controller, all that good stuff. And shortcuts, you can specify shortcuts for different commands, like, you know, booting the BIOS, you know, save states or quick load, quick save. Benefit of save states is it allows you to get to any point in the game, could even be a load screen, save it, and you'll automatically take you back to that moment in time. You don't have to have an internal game save. And in shaders, you can mess around with this as well, again, with the scaling. But I'll say for the most part, just leave it as is. And now, any of settings we modify shouldn't really be an issue. To run the game, you can either A, click road, load ROM, either B, add folder to library. That's good if you have a specific, let's say, Game Boy Advance games folder. And C is, you can either double click it or D, you can actually just drag it on. You can literally just do this. That's it. And as you can see, it's created a save folder. So remember, we didn't specify any folder, so it's created it exactly where it should be. And now, Crash Bandicoot is working, and we'll be able to, you know, we're already in the game. We'll be actually going to the level I'm playing. I'm going to lower the volume. There we go. I'll press X to jump. Having the double one was such a godsend in, in Crash Bandicoot 3 where they first added it. Where you could go, oh, I forgot that about this. The Crash Bandicoot games on the Game Boy Advance. The jump you have to be a bit more precise with it. Okay, so you can really end the video here. I'm just having a bit of fun as well. So let's see what we can do. And remember, we've got save states right here. So let's see if I was to save a state and just pick that one. Let's say if I was to turn it off and let's say if I was to reopen it, I can just double click this. It's loading it from the start. If I go to file, load state, loads it back where it was and remember we can in settings you know modify some settings to make it look better as well so we can increase the scale let's do it to like eight times and let me do a restart I'll just quit it and I'll reopen it. Okay, yeah, so for this game, it didn't really particularly do much. Turning the game, it can help, and there's a bunch of other you know, settings as well. So it's always best to, it's always best to you know, have a go, experiment, and see what you can achieve with, you know, the settings available. Because there's, you know, probably a fair bit that you can, you know, get out of this emulator. So, oh yeah, I forgot I was still on the bonus. Grab some of that good Wumper fruit. Run super smooth. MGBA is considered probably the top emulator 
for Game Boy Advance games, and you know, considered a good emulator for Game Boy, like regular Game Boy and Game Boy Color. For that stuff, I still overall. Um, trying to think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I still overall recommend something like Same Boy. That's the one I recently created a video on. Let's just complete this level. Like I said, we're all done. You can end the video right here if you don't want to watch me play. Really bringing back fond memories playing this game. Okay, so just this box and then we get the gem. Sweet. And that's it. So obviously we, I can click start and I can save it for example. But you know, with the beauty of save states, it's not as important to be able to save it. So that's it, I'll close this down now. I just want to thank everyone for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post in the Discord group. There's a link in the description. And in the Discord group, there'll be a channel for MGBA. They can post directly there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next emulator video. Hopefully, you're enjoying all this daily you know, emulator content. See you soon. Bye-bye.